New Super Moon and Black Moon on February 18, 2015. The new moon comes on February 18, 2015, and then reaches Perigee less than on third day later. It is the closest new moon of the year, which qualifies it as a new moon supermoon. It is also a seasonal black moon, that is, the third of four new moons in the current season, December solstice to March equinox. The moon reaches lunar perigee the moon's closest point to Earth for the month some 7.6 hours after the moon turns new at 23.47 uh, 6.47 p.m. CDT on February 18. Don't he expect to see anything special, not even a little crescent like that in the photo above. A full moon supermoon is out all night brighter than your average full moon. But a new moon supermoon is only out during the daytime hours hidden in the sun s glare follow the links below to learn more about the super moon slash black moon of february 18 2015 there will be an black super moon in the sky wednesday night but its very nature means you probably won't see it a super moon is the popular term for when the moon is at its closest in its elliptical orbit around the earth at perigee and appears full coming almost 13,000 miles closer to Earth than the usual 238,000 miles, the Moon can look 30% brighter and 14% larger than the less super version. What makes the supermoon a black supermoon is a little more complicated. First of all, the Moon is new tonight, which means it's almost invisible, even as close as it is. What gives it the capitalized name though is that it's the third time moon has been new in a season where there will be four of them. A black moon and a super moon at the same time doesn't happen every month. The darkness of the sky tonight will be great for stargazers who will be able to see objects that are normally too faint or far away to see with the light of the moon drowning them out. The downside of the moon being so close is that it will cause unusually high tides. Can tides as they are called. Despite the name, don't let superstitions about eerie astronomical phenomena make you nervous. Just as the blood moon was simply a cool visual, so the black supermoon is just a neat coincidence of the actually amazing way physics and astronomy work.